This is take like 40. Just going to do a really quick video here on the tractor control Z2 four deck mapping that I did so you understand. Try to focus here with the iPhone. So anyway, this is the simplest way I found. Basically these track select buttons, I have remapped them. So whatever deck you select, it essentially turns a modifier on and it affects uh, the corresponding EQ filter and line fader. So uh, if I have deck A selected, uh, filter obviously it affects channel A. If I select deck C, it only affects channel C. So it's pretty cool. I have soft takeover enabled for uh, all the knobs, the EQ, the filter, and the faders. So there's no unwanted volume jumps. Pad one on each side is a play pause button. So on deck A, this is a play pause. And I also, I also have enabled the uh, LED um, output to blink in time. So that's pretty cool. So if I go to C, they both blink in time. Pretty cool way. Um, the loop size selector has also been modified to work with track C and D, depending on what mode you are. Basically, this is the most stock way I found to set up the mixer. And when you change uh, the selected channel on the sides here, it uh, affects that corresponding channel. So I found it to be pretty cool. I left the uh, volume knobs um, to work as they come stock. Um, maybe you could remap them, I don't know, but I found it pretty cool. That way you have volume at all times for decks, C and D, I don't know. So that's open as well as pads two, three, and four. I didn't mess with that. Flux works on tracks, um, whatever track you have selected. I remapped it uh, so it's stock, but it's changed so that it works with X, C, and D. Um, basically, modifier 3 is the left channel, and modifier 4 is the right channel. So if you're new to modifiers, I've set it up so it's pretty easy to figure out if you're a beginner. Um, obviously, there's four decks, so I thought I'd map the uh, decks 3 and 4 to the C and D deck. So M3, 0 is A, and 1 would be C. And on the other side, M4, modifier 4, would be 0 for B and 1 for D. So it's the simplest way I could think of. Uh, the only things I had problems with were the uh, relative internal button, the LED output, I found it to be a mix of whatever the stock NHL native instruments signal output was with a mix of whatever I assigned it to. So if I assign orange to this green button and I hit the button, it would like turn sort of a different color. It was like setting both LEDs. So I have not got that straightened out yet, <clears throat> as well as the headphones. The headphones for tracks one and or A and B are grayed out. So no matter what, <clears throat> if I turn this on or off or I select track C to turn it on or off, it still seems to be a blend of the output. I'm sure that's because it's being sent to the mixer and it's not exactly digital monitoring or something. So these four buttons here are exactly, uh, aren't exactly 100%, but the rest of it is pretty awesome. So even the effects, if you go on deck C, you can assign one or two effects, or A, one or two. So, yeah, it works pretty good. Um, I'm, I'm really happy with it. If you come up with something to add to this, uh, please share with me and check out my tunes and let me check out some of yours. Uh, this is the most stock way I could think of, and uh, it took me for freaking ever. So I hope you enjoy my mapping, and uh, rock on.